Hey everyone, here to review The Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis. Um, a brief few words on C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis, in my opinion, is the lesser friend amongst the, the greater literary circle, but, but between the two, J.R.R. Tolkien and, uh, and him, C.S. Lewis, who are great high church Christian writers of f fiction, Tolkien, the Roman Catholic, interested in both anarchy and monarchy, but not the anarchy of the twirly mustache and the bomb throwing, but more general, a general, a general and genuine skepticism towards power and abuses of power um, that he saw in the status quo that he lived in. C.S. Lewis and him were great friends. I think they parted ways for a little bit, but they were great friends for a long time, and they played in their paracosms or their imaginary landscapes and worlds, their realms, which they created for their great fiction works. They have great nonfiction writings as well, and uh, they were they were really good in Athanasius. Of Alexandria or Athanasius the Great, the the uh, Pope of Alexandria, whom gave the bishopry to Ethiopia's text that he wrote when he was 19 years old on the incarnation. There is an English translation with an introduction by C.S. Lewis, which is phenomenal. In that introduction, he tells you to read, to fight against your biases. Works from every period, every century, every time every place. And I've written about that on oxum.substack.com and in other places as well. This book, Screw Tape Letters, is the fictional imagining. It's a, it's a nice genre. We have some of these genres within Ethiopian history and our, our church history and the text that we have ourselves. One that famously comes to mind that uh, will be a project I work on one day is a conversation between a cherub, right? One of the angel guardians with the flaming swords and with the brigand or the criminal that was on the right hand of Jesus at the crucifixion, who was told that today or this day you will enter paradise. And the cherub didn't seem to have gotten the memo. Anyway, this is kind of an imagination uh, book similar to the, those genres found in the Ethiopic or Ge'ez tradition or the Syriac tradition, be it West Syriac or East Syriac. And C.S. Lewis picks this up and he writes about two demons. The one demon is a senior demon and the other is a junior demon. The senior demon is screw tape. The junior demon is wormwood, which is itself a, a word we find in the Bible. And Screw Tape is writing a series of letters. Each chapter is a letter towards the junior demon, giving him advice on how to better assault humankind. Now, even with the kind of literary structure going on, I, I don't necessarily agree with everything that C.S. Lewis says or gets to, particularly what he says around the issues of war. But he covers a wide range of human situations that really, you know, sometimes just makes you laugh out loud, literally, not just smirk, but literally laugh out loud because what he's doing is he's unveiling and uncovering the little ways that we plot and scheme and try to half-ass our journey in pursuit of holiness and pursuit of perfection and pursuit of getting closer to God. I don't want to reveal any of the examples, but hmm, let me turn to something random. Okay. This is a really random passage, just to give you guys a flavor, a taste. My dear Wormwood, the real trouble about the set your patient is living in is that it is merely Christian. They all have individual interests, of course, but the bond remains mere Christianity. What we want, if men become Christians at all, is to keep them in the state of mind I call 
Christianity and. It, it goes on to discuss how Christianity can be compartmentalized into one part of your life rather than be the light which is used to view every other aspect of your life, whether it be politics, philosophy, humor, play, whatever it may be. I remember the words of Malcolm X who said his political perspective, his philosophy, everything, his answer to everything was black nationalism. The Christian should have their answer to everything be Christianity. And it doesn't mean that you make a sort of paper thin, uh, boring construction. Your value should still be excellence. So promote whatever you're going to promote with excellence. Don't just force God into the situation. But if you can see God in everything and read C.S. Lewis's screw tape letters to see this brilliant Englishman using literature to pull apart the machinations of humankind.